Hello, I have been painting nearly every day for about three weeks, working on two of the largest paintings I've ever done in my life, and I now need a little bit of a break from painting. So I'm going to make a YouTube video of me painting. I have this strange history of starting something new and not going beginner friendly. I feel the need to go the most complicated version ever to prove that I am some kind of master. Uh, I am not, it always turns to shit. And today is no different, history is going to repeat itself. Instead of going small and tiny, we're going big and complicated. With that glass painting trend, that was about two years ago, I'm a little bit late. Better late than never. While doing my research for this video, which consisted of watching endless TikTok compilations, I noticed two things. The first thing is that these are all of anime characters. I'm fairly certain that that is the trend. Um, nothing against anime, I think these look pretty sick. And number two is that they are all pretty small. I am an adult who has money to buy a piece, big piece of glass. It's not actually glass, it's a piece of plastic for an Ikea frame. No one can tell me what to do with my money and my time. So we're doing something pointless and it's the only time I'm ever going to do this. So I figured why not let's go big, we'll go home. I am already home. I do not leave. Who and what am I going to paint? I don't know, probably something lame. Actually, my list here says um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Studio Ghibli, Animal Crossing, and Dark Crystal. Well, I've already done a Nightmare Before Christmas video. Animal Crossing died in 2020. I'm sorry, I do still play it sometimes, but th it's not relevant enough for views. Uh, no one knows what Dark Crystal is, no one's gonna watch that. So I guess we're doing anime, uh, Studio Ghibli. I do actually really love Studio Ghibli. Spirited Away is one of my favourite films. Um, that is very unoriginal, I am aware. I'm not sorry for it. My ideas for this was either No Face with his banquet of food, um, these three guys chilling at the table, I liked the mix of characters, or these ducks. To start this project I took the IKEA frame and removed the back panel. I'm using a little plastic tool because I already broke two nails this week and I don't plan on doing any more. I know I said at the start of this video that I was going to go, go big, big and complicated. And complicated. Um, reality started settling in as I was looking at those three images and I decided that I did not want to have a mental breakdown this week so I've chosen the ducks since I felt that they were the easiest out of those three options. Now when I was doing my research for this video I genuinely thought that people were using fine liners to do the outlines of their pieces. Um, it turns out that that is not true because once you have left these for a little while they don't dry. They never dried. You could still wipe them away. Just like this. So I had to start all over again and I used just some watered down black acrylic paint and a really thin paintbrush. While I'm recording this I have only just come to the realisation that people were probably using paint pens and not fine liners. You may have noticed in the background of this image that there are some more ducks in another bath. Um, the problem is, is that I did not cut off the heads, that's just how the image is. And I tried to fill it in myself when we got this club penguin looking thing so we're just ignoring all of the ducks in the background. It was now time for the parts that I had been waiting for, blocking in all of the colours. All the videos I've watched I felt so satisfied with people laying down thick amounts of paint and them turning it over and it being super opaque. And it turns out you need to do a lot of layers because it comes out sheer as fuck. Not only was I deeply unsatisfied when I turned it over the first time, I realised I printed it wrong. I should have printed it like this because it's on a piece of plastic. When I turn it over it's supposed to look like this, but it doesn't. It's, it looks like this. I fucked- I don't know if that makes sense, but I fucked up. In the past few months, I've been trying to be a little bit more of a patient person in my work and building on layers. Um, with this project, I really could not be asked waiting for multiple layers to dry to then just paint over the same thing. So I just started slapping that paint on as thick as possible to get an opaque first try. The moment something no longer has a pupil, no matter how cute it is, it now looks demonic. I've only just realised that we're now halfway through and I haven't explained a single thing of what it is that I'm doing. I mean this isn't a tutorial video and if it was it'd probably be one of the shittest ones you've ever watched, but essentially what I am doing is I'm picking all of the smaller sections of colours and painting all of those in first and then I do the larger ones on top.
this is the part that I thought was going to be the most satisfying, just slapping on all that yellow paint and not really caring where I have to put it. Uh, the problem is, is that yellow paint is really transparent and it takes a lot of layers to finally get it opaque. There isn't really much else to tell you about the painting process as it is mostly just the same, so please enjoy this small painting montage. Or if you don't want to watch it, you can just skip ahead. And if you still don't want to watch it, just click off the video and fuck off. Okay, montage is over. I really wanted to capture the wood texture that's on the side of the bath, so I took a fluffy brush and just lightly bristled on some of that dark brown paint, and then I painted on some orangey hues, and then I painted in some of the darker browns while the orange was still slightly wet, and then once those two were wet, just kind of rubber dubbed my brush against it to give it some more texture, and then once that was fully dry, just laid on some thick brown paint so that it all became opaque. Now that the painting was finished, it was time to remove all of my fingerprints, and that's not because I committed any crimes, it's because they're ugly. Although a crime is being committed right now, because when you watch the close-ups later, it's just littered with fingerprints. I did a shit job. I would like to apologise, I forgot to film some kind of dramatic turnaround of the finished project and seeing it all cool and yeah, um, I'd, sorry. This is me illustrating how I wanted the background to be transparent, because that's, you know, what the whole trend is about. But for it to be secure, you need to add this backing frame because it's a picture frame and that looks like shit. So I thought, hmm, I can add some white paper because it's going on a white wall. But that also looks like shit. So we're not doing that. I decided that I was just going to push down these pins anyway and see how that worked. Um, it's very rattly and moves around and I wanted to be a little bit more secure. So I'm using the dreaded super glue and super gluing in all the corners. Let's see if I could do this whole thing without getting any on my fingers. Wow, that was incredible. I didn't get a single drop on my fingers. So now let's wipe away the rest of my fingerprints. And wow, that is, that is really secure. And there's a really annoying scuff mark that won't go away. And I ruined his beak somehow. Now let's not allow those things to ruin our time. I've done a really good job here. So I really wanted to hang it up on the wall. I tried taking this off the back panel and it seems to be fucking welded on somehow. Thank you, Ikea, for making cheap, good products. This is- I'm fucking up, so why am I doing this? Stop. Stop. Please. Stop. I, I think you know where this is going. I'm rubbing my fingers because I got fucking super glue on it, obviously. What an idiot. I clearly did not learn my lesson from making the Jack Skellington house, where I got super glue on my fingers all the fucking time. And I'm being even smarter here. I'm using a pencil to try and push it in, and wow. Fucking idiot. My hard work all being ruined by trying to be clever and it's not clever at all so I just decided to be a normal person and screw it in. I'm not even going to admit how many times I dropped that screw and couldn't get it into the frame. If you watched all the way through thank you thank you for watching me paint these ducks. I did actually have a really good time painting these even though I fucked up the top and now there's a really ugly crack. It still looks pretty cool on the wall even though I said I'm only doing it once I'm actually kind of tempted to do it again because it's pretty relaxing. Goodbye.